Hello everybody, this time I'm gonna talk about my new on-camera monitor. It's the Field World F6 Plus. It's a touchscreen monitor with the 5.5 inch display. I bought it on Amazon as a bundle. It comes actually with a pouch where you can store it to your monitor. Uh, it has uh, two HDMI cables, comes with the battery and the charger, and the sun hood and the, the arm to attach the monitor to the, to the camera. Later on in this video, I'm gonna test the monitor on the, under the sun. So I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take my camera outside and see how bright it is under different circumstances and also time of the day. I actually own a different um, monitor before this one. Uh, the only thing I didn't like it because it wasn't too bright. Also, the arm that attached the monitor to the camera it wasn't really strong. This arm that comes with the uh, monitor is actually stronger, so it, it looks good and it feels feels good too. And and it wasn't it wasn't a um, touch screen, so it was only one hundred thirty nine dollars. I didn't really I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable about it to be honest to navigate and everything. Uh, the only difference with this one is actually touch screen, and it costs two hundred twenty nine dollars, and um, it initially is a little bit brighter than the one I had before. So like I say, I'm gonna test the camera outside, but I I know Fieldware has a seven inch monitor and that one claims to be super bright um so depending on the test that i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna decide whether or not should i keep this monitor or just upgrade it to the seven inches because i really like bright monitors outside on the right side of the camera you have one of the three one quarter um thread points where you can attach the arm on the bottom part of the camera you have the sd card slot as well as with the 12 volt power input and a 3.5 millimeter earphones on the left side of the camera you have two uh, hdmi input and output and also a volt power output where you can power your camera and on top you have the power button and and the wheel menu where you can press or just scroll throughout the menu so this is a quick uh, walkthrough through the menu of the monitor. If you press from the bottom to the top, you can actually pop out the bottom menu and you can find the focus system, the false color, the histogram, the audio meter, the monochrome, and the safety maker. And you can activate and disactivate as you wish. Also, if you wanna get the side and menu, you can double tap on the left side of the monitor and it should come up. And here's the setting where you can change the color, the brightness, uh, the saturation, and also uh, you can flip the monitor upside down or left and right, and a lot of things that any other monitor or professional monitor would have. So this monitor 239 is really a no-brainer. All right, so we're now ready for the test, and we're outside. We're actually under the sun, and here's the proof. Uh, you can even tell the, the monitor on my camera either. And it's really hard to see. I mean, there's no shadow. The sun is actually on top of us. So it's really hard to see. That's the only thing I don't like. I know I've seen different monitors like the Atomics that we were shooting outside without protection from the sun. The monitor tends to be brighter. But then again, those monitors are like $600, seven, eight, or even thousands of dollars. But this is only 239, so I think it's a great deal, even though you can tell. Also, just to mention that my, I was shooting in raw, so the, the, the picture is a little bit uh, faded. So now this is more like a, we're under a shadow of the building, so we can see better uh, even the, my, on my camera too. I'm, ch I'm changing it for film to video so that way it brightens a little bit and as you can tell even my camera does and also the monitor so if you if you have some uh, courtesy or filming outside or you're shooting under the shadow or, or trees or or buildings um you can actually see it better this is probably uh it's, this is actually around two three o'clock kind of and as you can tell you can actually see the picture really well And this is actually 4 p.m. and and also I'm shooting on video mode on my camera and it looks really it looks really bright. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I think I'm liking and like at this point I was I was liking the video more. You know what I mean? So I'm changing my mind about getting the seven inch because the seven inch is a little bigger. And now I think we're on, we're at five o'clock. I think. I mean, the sun started to f going away and you can tell 
the monitor is even brighter. So there's no sun over us. The sun is actually on, on behind us, and so it's going away. So, so at this point, I'm liking this um, monitor. You know, obviously, I'm not gonna be shooting all the time outside. You know, under the sun, and then um, I'm sure uh, um, it's really, you know, it's it's like a 50/50 or probably 25 outside or 75 outside. But I see the video on the monitors is really good. I mean, I, I had to play with the brightness and the contrast and another thing so I can get basically what I wanted. And this is shooting inside. So you can tell, you can actually see, but the only thing is I had the reflection from the back. I mean, obviously when you're shooting, I probably won't get that. It's just a quick test. And look, I'm, I'm not getting any light from the back. This is great shooting um, straight to the wall. So it's, it was super bright. It was super great inside. Yeah, I mean, this pretty much sells it for me. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. Um, I still think, in a way, probably uh, buying the seven inch, just in case I have, let's say, another person doing autofocus when I get the system for autofocus that can do that separately, you know? Or if I have a client that wants to watch what I'm filming, they can actually see that. I mean, the seven inch for $330, I think, is also a super deal, you know? And even if it is brighter outside, psh, I'm on it. All right, so this is my review on this Field World F6 Plus monitor. I hope you like it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.